Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about how to design concrete column in CSI call. And uh, I will show you two ways that you can do the design. The first one is to create the uh, concrete column directly in CSI call and then do the design. And the other one is to import the result from ETABS and do the, uh, do the design in CSI call. Okay, so before we start, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button. If you like this video, please put the thumb up as well. So the first one, I will choose a quick design a wizard. So this is the quick tool that you can create the concrete section and do the, de uh, do the design uh, directly uh, in this uh, window. So the first one, you can define the uh, project uh, details and uh, the other one you need to uh, uh, select the units and design code and you can check the uh, uh, information here i will keep everything uh, the same and the uh, next one is the material properties you can uh, change the concrete property and the rebar properties but uh, we use the default uh, uh, properties here and uh, you can change the property later if you want to next uh, the concrete name and next you can choose the stir up type and I will choose the rectangular column but uh, we have the other option as well which is the circular uh, column so we can create the um, section uh, directly here. I will use 300 for the width and for the uh, height of the dimension. And uh, let's choose 20. Okay, so we have this section. Next, we can consider slenderness, but in this video, I will not uh, choose this option. And the next one is the uh, load. So you can input the uh, uh, load here. So uh, we use only one combination here, but if you have more, you can click on the plus uh, button here. Now uh, you already import the information, you can show the result. Uh, you can first show capacity ratio. You can see uh, the result here for the top end and this is for the bottom end. So we can see that the top end here uh, has a problem. So we need to go to a section here and adjust something. But uh, in this case, I will change only the rebar and close. We can see the capacity uh, ratio again. So uh, everything is OK and we can click on detail result. So we have the input load and capacity ratio. And this is for the bottom end. Next one, we can show the interaction uh, curves. We can uh, select the uh, strength reduction factor to be include or exclude. And this is the curve and you can change the different uh, angle and you can show the com load combination as well. And this is for the bottom. And the last one is the report. You can click on view. So this is the simple uh, report. You can see the rebar ratio, the capacity ratio, and uh, the, the input uh, load here. Okay, so next I will click OK. And this is the uh, column that we create. And you can go to result and show uh, the detail of the result uh, more here 
and uh, next I will show you the detail report you can see here or you can go to column summary and uh, we can change the uh, material as well you can go to define and material you can change here this is for the riba and this is the sec section that uh, we uh, created okay so uh, this is the uh, design of a concrete column you can do it like this and uh, we have many more options that uh, you can consider like slenderness effects but uh, we're not cover this in uh, this video okay so the next option is you can import the result from etabs now uh, you can select this option and we need to select the uh, etabs model that we created and uh, remember that uh, the model that you uh, use in etabs need to be uh, 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 perform the structural analysis already and have the load combination so you can open And uh, we have the story and the load combination. I will select all of uh, these and OK. Now you can see the um, model of the structure. You can uh, select any column you want and uh, as much as you want. But uh, in this video, I wish select only this one and this one, and you can uh, see the selected column here. We have two, and import. So if you uh, look at the columns here, we have two column. Now uh, for the first one, I will change this uh, rebar first. okay so next I want to show you the framing so this column have a top and the bottom uh, column and this is the column that we're going to design and uh, if you look at the column C4 here and go to framing you can see that uh, this column is the um, the top column of the building Okay, uh, we go back to column C7 and uh, next we can go to um, a material. This is the material that uh, I'm going to use. And we can go to, um, sorry, loading. So this is, uh, these are the um, load combination that import, uh, that are imported from ETABS. You can change the value here as well, but uh, we will use uh, this value and this is for the Y uh, uh, axis. And uh, we can go to the result and check capacity ratio. You can see here. So we have some problem. We need to um, adjust the column section. And we change the riba dimension here as well. Okay, now let's show the capacity ratio. You can see here. And next we can go to interaction uh, diagram. And again, you can show the combination. and you can go to simple report so uh, the program automatically uh, create two uh, report for uh, 
uh, column C7 and column C4 but uh, we haven't changed anything for uh, the column C4 so uh, this column is failed and uh, you can show the detail report uh, we have the column C7 and this is the column C4 and uh, you can show the column summary as well so we have two column here and this is the result so you can see that the column C4 uh, failed and this is the uh, demand capacity ratio and uh, I want to show you the unit and the code of the design as well you can uh, select uh, anyone here and uh, for the last part of this video I want to show you the ETAP uh, settings so if you have a different version of ETAP you can select uh, this and go to the program uh, path and uh, for the column C4 you can perform the design uh, uh, as same as the column C7 okay so this is it for this video I hope you guys uh, enjoy this and uh, thank you so much for watching and if you like this video please put a thumb up as well and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button thank you so much i'll see you guys in my next video